Defund the Police is trending on social media. It's part of the protest movement going on all across America and spreading into other countries. Frankly, it's such a ridiculous proposition that it isn't worth discussing. Except that Minneapolis is actually considering disbanding their police force. Other major cities are cutting police budgets and considering disbanding their police forces. And of course, there's this in Seattle. Oh boy. So it looks like I'll be covering this proposal after all. Defund the police started as a slogan, chanted at the protests and trending across social media. On the face of it, the meaning of the slogan is clear. The police are out of control, so to take back control, we need to take back their funding. And indeed, many people have discussed ways in which that funding could be better used, in their opinion. More money for public housing, more money for schools, more money for social work, more money for mental health services, more money for victims' advocacy, more money for socialized health care, the list goes on and on. Naturally, the response from a significant portion of the nation has been sarcastic incredulity. Defund the police, huh? And when your house gets broken into, or your car stolen, or your identity stolen, just exactly who are you going to call? I can certainly understand this point of view, just as I can also understand that we have an ongoing problem with bad cops committing criminal acts against the people whom they are supposed to protect, including suspects. This is a real problem, and it needs real solutions, too. But defunding and disbanding the police? Um, no. Just, no. Now, two responses I've seen are worth noting. One is that there are a lot of people stating that the slogan doesn't actually mean defunding and disbanding the police departments all over the country. What it means, they say, is to reform the police. There's an old rule of thumb regarding political slogans. If you have to explain what it means, then it's not a good slogan. The slogan should be self-explanatory. This slogan needs explanation. Sorry, folks, but those of you promoting this slogan should probably consider a different slogan. The other response that I've seen is that disbanding the police is possible because Camden, New Jersey did it. So I did a little research. Camden is a city of about 77,000 people. In 2010, investigations discovered rampant corruption in their old police department. So in 2013, they disbanded it. And yes, crime went down. The part that people don't seem to mention as much is that in the intervening three years, the Camden City Police Department was replaced by the Camden County Police Department, which currently patrols exactly the same jurisdiction as the previous police department. True, it is available to other municipalities in Camden County but none of the other cities in Camden County have accepted the offer to replace their own police department with the Camden County Police Department. So, Camden abolished their old police department in favor of a replacement police department. That's not what's being proposed in Minneapolis, exactly. In fact, the city council collected a veto-proof supermajority to disband the Minneapolis Police Department. The city council currently doesn't have a plan for what they will do to replace the current police department, or fund an alternative that would create a policeless state. It may not matter anyway, because the city charter requires that the city council fund a police force whose size is based on the population of the city and places that police force entirely under the control of the mayor of Minneapolis. To pull this dramatic change off, the entire city council and mayor have to unanimously agree that the charter needs to be amended or it goes to a public vote. With the mayor completely opposed to disbanding the police, I somehow doubt that he will agree to change the city charter, so it would have to go to a public referendum. And unless I misunderstood what I read, the public referendum would be on the same ballot as the city councilors who are voting to remove the police. Interesting times. Other cities are considering similar changes. I don't think that they've really thought through how difficult it will be to make these changes or what effect attempting to disband the police will have on their re-election chances. For some, it may boost their popularity. For others, measures like this may doom their political careers. So, in fact, in Minneapolis, you could wind up with the referendum passing and the city charter being amended, but the supermajority dissolving as many of the city councilors who were going to vote to disband the police are removed from office. And all of this pales into insignificance next to the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, a six-block area in Seattle which has been declared effectively a commune. 
Yes, you heard me right, a commune, like the Paris Commune. They've published a long list of demands from the city of Seattle on Medium.com, including abolishing the police, abolishing the use of force in any form or situation, abolishing the court system, abolishing prisons, and a host of other demands. This is a link to the published list. It's entertaining reading. There are a lot of self-contradictory demands, like forcing every case to be retried and every investigation reopened with the police disbanded, the courts disbanded, and the lost and found, which I can only take to mean the evidence lockers, opened up for people to reclaim their property. The leaders of Chaz have invited all the homeless people to come live there and share their food. The homeless came and promptly took all of their food, as reported on Twitter by the leaders of Chaz. Oops. It's not as easy to run a socialist paradise as it looks, is it? The fact is that the cities do need to take a good hard look at their police forces and how they have acted. There are too many accounts of possible corruption and too many bad cops getting away with criminal behavior. We do need a national registry listing every current and former police officer and a mandatory check of that registry to verify the service and character of the cops who leave one department for another so that bad cops cannot just get a job in another jurisdiction when they get fired for misconduct. None of this squares with defunding the police or abolishing them. Not even the example of Camden matches the current narrative being pushed. The people pushing it need to come up with a plan, not a punchy slogan. 